Hello and welcome back to my channel in the second half and this episode of Anything But Rugby. That's right, Anything But Rugby is back the only place where you can catch rugby players not talking about code for once. I know, crazy. So, Anything But Rugby. If you haven't watched any of these episodes, that is the whole point of the entire video. It is literally Bam. any... Bam. I'm, I'm just filming at the moment. Oh, that... I was just going to say if you wanted to that's up before. Just going to yeah, check the so, so what I'm filming is actually anything but rugby. So I can I can do literally anything else. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, we can play Xbox. Oh. Xbox. There we go. Yeah, sure. Play some Xbox. What, what games we got? Oh. Um. Journal only rugby championship. <sighs> what are we watching? <sighs> Oh, nope. Sister Sam, this will be good. Hey sis, how are you? How's Italy? Yeah, good thanks. We're actually just re-watching the second test of the 2005 Lion series, which was arguably the best ever individual performance by any fly half or even player by Dan Carter. How about you? Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Anything but rugby, I am sat here with former Northampton Saints and current Worcester Warriors superstar. Uh, Ethan Waller. Ethan, how are you today? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. I don't think I've ever been referred to as a superstar. Well, there you go. First time for everything. It's Ethan, aka Beef. I, I think that's a good place to start. Explain to me the origin of that nickname. Uh, do you want the real story or the story I tell people? Both. Okay. Story you tell people first. All right, story I tell people uh, is because I've got a massive head and I constantly get referred to as a cow, so it was cow head for a while. So yeah, the actual reason is when I was a kid, my I was basically I was, I was fat as anything. I was like the Michelin, the Michelin man as a child, and the only teeth that came in first were my front two, and my mum called me Beefy Ethy with his two front teethy, and that just got shortened. This mouthful. So this was your mum's doing. It's my mum, yeah. It's, I'd actually call it abusive. I've been informed by many a source, actually, that that you, like me, are a big fan of a pun. Oh, I'm a very big fan. Of pun. So what I thought, got a little sheet here. <laughs> gonna get a random word generator up. We're gonna get five words, and we've got to try and okay work them into a conversation throughout the interview okay. in some sort of in some sort of punny pun. way. Morning, spelt M O U. Jesus Christ. Film. All right. Lovely. Easy. Pay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Graphic. Jesus, wet to me. Firm. Firm. Okay. 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 So we'll just leave that there. We'll put them on the screen now, so uh, you know what we're after. You and try get them in a, in a pun form. Okay. In a pun form, if possible. Any sort of play on words, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Okay, so anything but rugby episodes um, are not made for everyone. They're just not. I look for, for, for certain people, certain characteristics, preferably just people that aren't absolute noises. And you know, people that are a bit more multifaceted. So talk to me about Slice Slice Baby. Ah, uh, so Slice Slice Baby, shameless plug. I'll just... Yeah, get it out. Shameless plug on my laptop. Uh, Slice Slice Baby basically started because um, I'm, I'm a fat bloke, fundamentally. Uh, and I used to be in a band with my brother and my dad, uh, and we used to do weddings. Yeah, we'd what was it called? Uh, the TBB. Don't ask what it stands for. Don't know. Um, but dumb. we used to go and do like weddings and bar mitzvahs, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we went to one. There was just a bloke in the back of a transit van, the kind of thing you'd like tell your kids to stay away from. And he was just dishing pieces up the back of it at this wedding. And me and my brother were talking about it afterwards. Like he can't have, he can't have been like a specific chef or anything, yeah. he was just some old boy at the back of a transit van. And we looked into it and it was something we could easily get sorted, um, be debt free, have nothing hanging over us in terms of like paying for a, a building or a space or anything. Yeah. And we just started it from there and then I got overly nausea with food, went down every sort of pizza channel there was, was fully in the YouTube rabbit hole for ages and 
over a period of time taught myself how to make some pretty well, I say it myself, some pretty decent Neapolitan pizzas. Yeah. And that's just sort of gone from strength to strength now. So did then that lead into the podcast? Yeah. 100%. So going down that rabbit hole also led me into all kinds of other things. Need for feed for anyone that hasn't checked it out. Another, you know, showcasing of your 15 episodes. Today. Yeah, 15 episodes available on all podcasting platforms. And I tell you what, we'll put a uh, link in the description box to both the podcast and to Slice Slice Baby. And if you use the code Dan Lewis 10 to get absolutely no discount <laughs> whatsoever. I take my part-time job as a journalist very, very seriously. Um, so I look, I look high and low for my intel. Last week, I caught up with your brother. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. Um, we were actually in the pub together. Right. I mean, I was serving him, but details. <clears throat> and I thought, I've got to take this opportunity. Have you got any funny stories, questions? Mm. And I won't lie to you, he, he flew into you. Yeah, he normally does. So I'll start slow. Okay, so I'm very intrigued to hear about your apparent obsession as a youngster with trains, Thomas and Tank. Trains, yeah, thought yeah. I was going to be, that's the same as that. <laughs> it's not an obsession, it's a weird thing that everyone, that, I say everyone, that my brother brings up consistently. I was never into, like, I was never obsessed with it. I just quite liked Thomas Tank Engine as a kid. Yeah. As most people yeah, do. You, so, you know, it's an icon. Um, and I just, like, my mum would take me to train tracks and stuff, and I'd look at, actually, no, I'd say it out loud, it's actually quite weird. No. I'm scared to ask the second one. Um, I've been warned this may not be PG. <laughs> So I would like to state right now for everyone to hear, uh, you do not have to answer this. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what this is going to be as well. <laughs> We've, the, the, the thing about this is, right? You know what it is. Why did the nurse have to come? <laughs> 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 why, why did the nurse have to come round when you were twelve? <laughs> Again, you do uh, not. Have to answer. I don't have to answer it, but I'm going to. Yes. Yes. Uh, long story short, uh, it, when it wasn't 12, I was about 8, I think. Okay. So there's a bit, of, a bit of artistic license on, yeah. on my brother's part there. Um, and for some reason, <laughs> I've just gone, right, don't fancy shitting for 10 days. Don't ask me why, don't know why, just didn't at the time. And, uh, and then went to the doctors about it. And they were like, well, that's that's not good. Which ten it, which ten it is. days is is the limit. Ten it's days. Point. It's a backup. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's the cut off. That's when you say mm, nine, sorry. you're fine. Nine ten. Fine. That's when you got to get the nurse round. Apparently, and I had to get the nurse round um, to to do what? To sh basically shove an enema up my ass. Uh, Let's get a long story short. Bit graphic. Oh, bastard! I, I tell you what, she was firm. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Phil Roberts. This confused me a little bit. I think this is what he's tried to say. You have to pick one of these options. Do you not like seafood or something? Uh, I'm not a fan of... I, I, I like seafood, but I despise it on a pizza. I don't think it's going to eat. Okay, then this makes sense. You have to pick between one of these options. You either eat a tuna, mussels and prawns pizza, or sit through half an hour of watching someone else eat said pizza very loudly. Oh, that's... You can tell he's thought about that. Yeah, well, I think it's a Phil. Phil's a good mate of mine, and I, I went on his podcast, and we ended up talking about pizza. And I just said, "There's nowhere for fish on a pizza. I just don't believe that it should be on a pizza." Like or something. Seafood pizza? Nah, I hate it. Just don't. In just, like, I don't know. Yeah, but somewhere if, warm. If you're somewhere next warm the sea, on the sea, you just have the fish. fish. Just have the fish as it is. Don't put it on a pizza. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Get some garlic bread if you want. Yeah, exactly. Don't Gross. put it on a pizza and chuck a load of cheese on it. Best and worst bloke you've ever worked with? <laughs> yeah, there's a few options for worst for a variety of reasons. For most, for most annoying, I'm gonna go with Paul Hill. Uh, <laughs> purely because I lived with Paul, right? Okay. And for the first like, first like couple of months, it was grand. He was, he was a good bloke, sort of, and then I don't know what happened, but just like we hit a two month mark and he went, right, don't give a fuck about it anymore. So he just like leave loads of stuff lying about. Oh. I remember once, once in our old place, he had a Chinese on a Sunday, right? And we hired a cleaner to come on Monday just because it was easier because there were four of us in the house, mm -hmm. um, and it was like everyone chucked in tenner. Yeah, and she she cleaned the whole place. She had a cleaner that coming on Monday, so he had a Chinese on a Sunday and had just left it out on a table, um, just just sat there, just like lid off, no lids on the back on or anything, just like the Tupperware with it off, just some ribs. And she came in and she was like, shut up. 
clean that up. I was like, nah, 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 leave it. This is an experiment. I just want to see what how happens. long it'll stay there before he cleans it. Anyway, mate, it got to the next week when she came round. She was like, can I clean it? I was like, nope, just leave it. Shut up. Go do Same Chinese. It. Same Chinese. And then I ended up actually telling him and he ended up doing it. And, and it's not malice from Hilly, like he's, he's, a, he's got a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. But he's just on his own planet. He's okay. on his own thing and, and just living with him was, was stressful. The best lad I've worked with, probably, I'll tell you what, to an extent, he, he, he put us in contact, Tom Kessel. TK Maxx, there you go. Tom Kessel, very, very good bloke. You won't find him. You can search him. That's you, exactly you why. You won't find him. That's why he's up there, because he is the most unconventional modern man. In yes. that he is not modern whatsoever. He's, he is living in, I don't, I don't know what age His he's in. His own world. Yeah. And no Facebook, no Instagram. No. I think he has Strava, but he doesn't have a profile picture. So I think that tells you everything you need to yeah. know. How do you feel about the speed round to finish? Ready. <clears throat> One Direction or JLS? One Direction. Flat White or Cappuccino? Flat White. Vase or Vars? Fires. Beers with the boys or cocktails with a sweet one? Beers with the boys. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Scone or scone? Scone. Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber? Timberlake. Dan Carter or Dan Lewis? Lewis. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much for watching Anything But Rugby by In The Second Half with Ethan Waller. You're a gentleman and a scholar, thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mate, thank you, that was uh, awesome. Mate, easily, well filmed. Oh. Bye. Oh. Bye.